It always fascinates me how a country changes once you cross the border and today I'm excited to share with you my first impressions of Zambia. So I got my SIM card and uh, I have just arrived at my destination. Then let's see what they have in store. Thank you for bringing me safe. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going for a go walk. What go walk means is when you arrive in a place, you're able to just see the town. And it's, it's like basically having no itinerary, but just taking a walk. I have my mask before you tell me to start to keep safe. Yes, I will. Oh, look at this circle. We are marching, we are marching. So let's have a good time. My go walk has got me here. I am glad so many things have happened actually. I had some errands that I had come to run. So one, to withdraw money. Two, to recharge my mobile money so that in case I want to buy internet or to call someone and all that, I don't have to go to the shop or to visit the, the, the counters. And three, do some shopping of things that I need like water, blah, blah, blah. So in the course of walking, I found like this market and let me say shop i've forgotten its name but uh they are actually selling things so today things are going at an offer because it's friday at 10 quarter and i was like oh, hmm everyone is getting in here let me also get a chance so i've seen this drift shop that people are getting in and let's give it a try so basically it's just a shop with clothes as you can see people are in thrifting because we are on an offer and 10 kwacha that's close to 50 cents in, in dollars yeah. that's what is happening just more clothes and yes you guessed right i'm not purchasing anything because we don't have space in the bag now we need money let's look for an atm at this rate i think fnb is everywhere in southern africa According to my observation, I think FNB is not only big here in Zambia but in Southern Africa and it's interesting to see how many people use it. Oh, I think many people love banking with FNB. I was queuing there and then I was like, you know what, <laughs> it's never that serious. That line is so long. So let me come and support Absa. Yeah. Hoping the queue ain't long. I have to say things in Zambia are way more affordable but you don't get the luxury of very very different varieties if that makes sense but we have to use what we have Zambian currency is called kwacha and the highest note is a hundred kwacha which is equivalent to close to five US dollar yes this brings me to what I think about Zambia. One, I have to say Zambia is quite affordable and I'm avoiding to compare in this case. But here, yeah, Zambia is pretty affordable. And for me, coming back to Zambia felt like coming back to Africa. The Africa where people are hardworking, people are out there, people are even doing like hawking on the streets. People are free and just living a life where they can be able to express who they are as themselves of course there's those aspect of africa also that we need to improve so i also would see some loops on that also i have to mention zambia is going through campaign season because they're gonna be having election very very soon so there was a lot of billboards that you'll see on the road and have a little similarity with what i see in my country when it's close to election time talking about my country zambia felt familiar i felt like i have been here before but in a different fashion there's a lot of similarities with my country and that even goes down when it comes to like the food that they eat here their driving side is similar to my country so i had a whole feel of similarity with what happens as much as here it's different as zambia as a nation 
in terms of numbers zambia has a population of up to 17 million people and they all speak different languages but the official language spoken around is english if you tell someone you don't understand bemba or their other languages they're just gonna converse to you in english which makes life a little bit easier to maneuver through here Nshima or what is called pap or ugali in other places is a common meal here in Zambia accompanied with meat and there are different types of vegetables that we will get to try as we continue on exploring Zambia. Remember my welcome to Zambia starts at Livingstone and not at the capital city so I also have to talk about the weather that I experienced here. It's still winter season in June and July but not as cold compared to other places when it is winter season it's sunny and cold in the evening sunny during the day cold in the evening I cannot wait to explore with you guys more of this beautiful city as you can see and the country itself the only interesting thing or triggering thing is the fact that after the COVID positive results I just feel anxious being in the presence of many people which is actually, I'm not sure if it's a good thing, if it's okay, it's, it's fine in terms of my safety. But I have my mask on and I'm sanitizing, but I still feel like... <gasps> so regardless of whether truly it was COVID that I was diagnosed with or it was not false results, now I'm more cautious about measures and taking care and all that stuff, yeah, so... Just in case you wonder why am I not interacting with people anymore, it's because of that. Anyway, let's hope for the best. Let me head back home and uh, see what we have to do. This marks the end of my go walk today because it's also very sunny here. More videos about this town uh, tomorrow, so stick around, turn on the notification bell and subscribe. And let's continue with our adventure as we head back home. One more country, then we're back. <laughs> Guys, I'll be so excited when I make it back to Kenya. You have zero idea. I'll be so glad. Anyway, too much talk. I'll see you guys in a few. So welcome to Africa. Feel at home. Enjoy the content. I took a long walk, my go walk, and you guys asked me to see me walking in cities. If you want to see that video, please leave it in the comment section. Just write go walk tour and I'm going to upload this video where I was going around showing you the different places, raw and uncut. Otherwise, guys, more content coming your way all the way from Botswana as well. We have amazing content that is yet to be uploaded. Amazing stories, great experiences as we also continue with this journey, hoping to make it back to Kenya. And by the time I'm getting to Kenya, please guys subscribe and let's hit 20,000 subscribers. Otherwise, that is it for this video. Remember to always, always create time for that which ignites your soul. Until next time, guys, bye for now.